In this video, we will look at lead code problem number 1447 and it's called simplified fractions. And you can see a glimpse of the problem here. Here, if we are given a number 4, then what we have to do, we have to find all the fractions between 0 and 1, but not including 0 and 1. So uh, you can see that I write 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 2 by 3, 3 by 4. So in all these cases, denominator will be more than numerator because it has to lie between 0 and 1. And if I have written 4, these values should be less than or equal to 4. So denominator is obviously larger, so we have to check for denominator. So you see that none of the denominators are more than 4. And these has to be unique. So let's see a larger problem. Let's see if we want to write it for 5. So these are the unique possibilities. So clearly you can see that we are starting with numerator 1. So write down all the possibilities with 1. So with 1, what can I write? I cannot write 1 by 1 since it will be 1. And we have to write it between 0 and 1. So the value will be here value should be less than 1, greater than 0. So this is not valid. Next is 1 by 2. This denominator should be less than 5. So 1 by 2 is valid. 1 by 3 is valid. 1 by 4 is valid. Even 1 by 5 is valid. So denominator can be equal to this. Only the value should not be equal to 0 or 1. It should be between them. So we are done with 1. And you can see these are the four possibilities. Then we start with 2. So can we write 2 by 2 or 2 by 1? If we write 2 by 1, it's more than 1. If we write 2 by 2, 2 by 1, not possible. 2 by 2, not possible. Since it will be 1, it will be more than 1. Next is 2 by 3. It's valid. Next is 2 by 4. But you see that 2 by 4 is same as 1 by 2 which we have already covered. So these should be unique. So we will discard it. So how can we check if it has already occurred? Uh, either you take the GCD of numerator and denominator and you divide them. So you get 1 by 2 or you store the decimal part like in this case it will be 0 0.5 and this is also 0 0.5. So you keep a set and Whenever you create a value, you insert there. So 0.5 is there, 0.3334 is there, 0.25 is there, and so on. So next time 2 by 4 comes, it's valid. It's uh, less than 1. It's more than 0. But we see that we have already stored 0.5, so we will not store it. Next is 2 by 5. And next is 2 by 6, but that will be more than 5, so we stop. Then we come to 3. So we have done with 2. So for 3, 3 by 1 is not possible, 3 by 2 is not possible, 3 by 3 is not possible. So first will be 3 by 4. Then next is 3 by 5. So we are done with 3. Last one is 4 by 5. So how can we do that? You see that in numerator we have 1, 2, 3, 4. We will never have 5. So we can have a loop for i equal to 1, 2, if this is n, 1, 2, n minus 1. So it will never be n. This is the outer loop. And inner loop we can have j equal to i plus 1, 2, n. So denominator will be till 5, numerator will be till 4. So you see here n minus 1, n. And our denominator will be strictly 1 larger than numerator at least so it starts from i plus 1 and then we create a fraction i divided by j if it's not insert insert it in the result we have to print all these strings so create string out of that so we can have i plus then this fraction sign in the string and then append j so this will be the string that we want to insert in the result and either you take the GCD and cancel out the common terms or you can store the fractional part in the set. So let's take the easier route of storing the fractional part in the set. So let's first write it in C++, then we will modify it for Java and Python. So 
So this is the result which we will populate. Then we have an unordered set. Not 0, otherwise it will be 0. It has to be more than 0, so 1. I less than n plus plus i. j equal to i plus 1, j less than equal to n, and plus plus j, then float If I don't cast it to float, it will we divide division will be done as integer, then converted to float. So since it's between zero and one, this will always hold the value zero point zero. So we will convert one of these beforehand to float. If set dot find fraction equal to set dot end that is it's not found in the set so we insert it in both result as well as set And let's try it out. And this works for this simple case. Let's add a few more cases. Let's add one, let's add three, four, five. And this is that accepted that is output is same as expected. So let's go ahead and submit. And the solution is accepted in C++. Now let's uh, write this exact same thing in Java. So let's copy. And here the result return type is string list. List string. And uh, we can create an array list. And then here we will have list, oh sorry, set, set float, set. Let's try 
and this works for all the cases so let's submit and the solution is accepted in Java as well finally we will do it for C++ Python 3 sorry for i in range 1 to n for j in range i plus 1 to n plus 1 and these two loops go away result dot append set dot add and let's try so the solution works in python as well so let's submit and it's accepted in Python as well.